Hey guys, welcome to our 2015 NAB show continuing live coverage here in Las Vegas. I'm John P. I'm Scott Ellis. We it just keeps getting better. It does. It gets way better. Everybody's going to like this one for lots of reasons. But uh, we have been showcasing the, the service called Tagboard here. You probably didn't even know what we were doing, but Dave's been pulling things up on the monitor. We've also got, uh, there you go, just like that. Good look. We've also got it embedded in the <coughs> website at geekbeat.tv forward slash Tagboard. We've got it on monitors here it, on the show floor. And now we also have Jenny and Brianna joining us from Tagboard. It's mm -hmm. just, you guys are getting like, they didn't even pay for this. It's, it's ridiculous, you know? So, Thanks for having us. This is so exciting to be here. Welcome. <laughs> Good to have you guys. Well, whenever whenever you guys submitted, uh, you know, to, to come on the show and I saw it, I thought, this looks interesting. Yeah. And then I went to the website and I checked it. I was like, this could be pretty cool. Yeah. And then we conversed a little bit via email. I said, you know. Let's try it out. Yeah, what we, <laughs> why not? What do we got to lose, right? Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, so, uh, you hooked us up with this cool account, and so I want to talk about all this. First of all, let's start with what is Tagboard and what's the concept here? Sure. Tagboard brings together the social media conversation out on all the social platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Vine, Google+, and Flickr, and it brings it together for broadcast companies, sporting teams, or brands that want to monitor the conversation out there, and then they can select the top conversation and then display it to their audience within seconds. Yeah. So it's exactly like what you guys are doing. People are using the hashtag NAB show. Mm -hmm. So you're bringing it all together here. And then you can select the best content you want to share. As soon as you approve it, it goes up onto the displays that you're using as well. Cool. Now, one of the things, so I know it's easy to use mm -hmm. because I had absolutely no training <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> and I just started clicking on things and they Voila. started appearing. And yeah. so that was good. But I'm sure it can do a lot more than that. So. Uh, uh, Maybe let's let's turn the computer and and we'll uh, we'll let them see a little bit of the interface. We got the camera right there. Though there you go. I don't know if you could. It's an awkward awkward view there. So yeah. first of all, to get started, what we did was we created an account by just linking it up with Twitter. Yep. Like, logged into Twitter and bang, we had an account or something. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Now the Can other I thing go? is. Are the accounts free? You have free versions, paid versions. What's the deal? A test drive? What's how does the how sure. does it work first? So anyone can go to tagboard.com right now. You can go on your phone or anywhere that you get the website, and you can search for uh, something you're interested in. So let's say I'm interested in the NAB show. If I can type this while I'm talking, <laughs> <laughs> and oops, I pressed the shift. There we go. And so what happens once you search that is that it will pull together everyone talking on these six social media platforms that you see on the top right hand side. And you can see all the content out there. So for example, a Portland TV station, there was a missing mother and everyone used the hashtag to talk about this. The producers utilized Tagboard to bring together the social conversation. They saw a Facebook post from one of the relatives of the missing mother and they managed to track them down and have them on the show within wow. two minutes. Wow. If they went to Facebook, they wouldn't <laughs> oh, know this relative's name, right? <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't know where to find it. So it's a great to search and discover things as well. You can see, you can, uh, See how many posts have been posted about this. Trends. So for elections, you can see, oh, this person is getting posted 30 times a minute. This is 10 times a minute. So they're obviously more popular on social engagement. And another big thing. Let me is, ask you a question yeah. about that because uh, we have a, you know, all broadcasters here, all people who want to share content. Mm -hmm. This is incredibly useful for them. Uh, just a licensing kind of question mm -hmm. for you, which sure. is. You know, if somebody doesn't have a, a paid account and they just go to the website and do a search, yep. um, does your licensing allow them to maybe f take a screen capture or share what the results were at that so moment? Or do they need to have a... We are you know partners I mean? with all of our social media platforms yeah. for broadcast. So working with us and our display platforms, you are doing their broadcast specific roles. And so when you display, you do have to rely on do their guidelines so you're in compliance with them. If you just take a screenshot, then that is just taking it off the web. If you utilize our platform, we know exactly what 
you have to do. There's things where you can't put different posts next to other posts. They change the rules all the time. So we constantly keep updated with these social platforms. When you use us, you know what you're displaying okay. is in compliance. So theoretically, the since places. we're using you to do all this stuff, we shouldn't be getting like a cease and desist or anything. No, no you're no totally fine. We're very friendly with them. Not only that, we have pretty much weekly conversations and we hear things that are happening and we know what's going to be happening in summer. We get our clients ready for this. Uh, for example, the 49ers use us in their stadium, Levi Stadium, and Flickr is a really big uh, sponsor of the stadium. So they're doing calls to action for people to do photos when they're at the stadium. So we said, okay, we know this is going to happen. We know 49ers are going to get a lot of Flickr content. And so we added Flickr to the platform for them to get them ahead of the game when their season started. And then we noticed uh, Fresno, California, there was a fire there. The Flickr content that our TV station got to do because we added that for our other client, they had the best photos of the fire awesome. within minutes mm -hmm. of it happening before they could get crews out there. So we're constantly talking to the social platform so we can keep you guys ahead of the game as well. Okay, cool. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt, yeah. but that was important. So, of yeah. course. Yes, and I'm talking so much, I'm sorry. No, so go Brianna's our great. client success <laughs> manager, and she's usually the one that gets to put everyone through here. But this is the free search. Once you're one of our enterprise clients, and when I say enterprise, that is our local TV stations. Um, we're in big with the Fox owned group, ABC, we have Meredith as well, a bunch of clients around the nation. Then you can create a tag board. You can see it right here. So I just press this button. It's supposed to be as easy as one, two, three, like John said, the easiness. So we're going to create an AB show just there. And I hit create. Now, I have a quick question for yeah. you. Can I can I monitor multiple tags within a single board? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so if somebody says NAB show, I want to catch it. But if somebody else does hashtag NAB 2015, I might also want to see that in my stream. Exactly. And sometimes you'll do something funny, and the community out there will start a hashtag <laughs> around what yeah. you're doing. And so yeah, you want to add happen. that in and, <laughs> and grab that as well. Or ABC7 Eyewitness, they use one hashtag, and then they put the breaking news stories as a secondary. So they're training their Very viewers. Good. If you want to talk to us, use ABC7 Eyewitness. But they will have um, Ferguson, or whatever is the breaking news coming into that hashtag as well. Okay. So the first step is you've created your tag board. The second step is producing it. So you see everything coming in on these six platforms. If you want to produce it, you just check the checkbox here. Now, I'm not reading them, so I'm hoping there's nothing <laughs> that you <laughs> don't want to go on there. And then once you feature the posts that you like, so I'm just going to pick a few, then you go back up, and it separates it into two columns here on the left-hand side. See that? So the featured is what I'm going to take to air. This is what your viewers see anywhere that you display it. So now I've produced my story. I can move them around and change the order. Mm -hmm. The third step is display my story. So I have these options here. So let's say I'm ready to display it in presentation mode. I didn't pick too many, so there's not many on there. But imagine it all filled up, and that'll rotate around. So it's really three steps. Once you're ready, you just press a button and take it to air or take it to your display. Does the presentation update in real time? So if I'm behind the scenes adding more things, does it keep adding that to the stream? Yes, it does. Absolutely. So the second that you feature new content that you want to show your viewers, it's going to go on the display. Very good. So we've actually got this running back in our equipment on like a Mac Mini or something. And it's yeah. just constantly pulling. And what we've also got are two or three guys that are logged in watching the stream and yep. clicking approve. So yep. one of the other features, I believe you could have multiple people. You Absolutely. Yeah, so I could actually be right here on my phone. Jenny can be here on the laptop. You can have your producers in the back producing as well. And if I feature a post, it's going to go live. If Jenny features a post, it's going to go live. And that is our protection to make sure that we're choosing content that actually we want to show our viewers. So we strongly believe in safe content, safe social. So that's why we, are, we make it so that you actually have to feature the content before it shows your viewers or goes on air, that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, that's good. There were what? a few that we first, we, when we first set up the NAB show yeah. stream, there were a couple that were, you know, it's Vegas, you know. Exactly. <laughs> so, Enough said. One other thing, too, I've noticed is you can have multiple boards. Like, you go in and I figured that out real quick because we had created two for some reason. And so we, you, you can have multiple ones and you can switch back and forth between them. The bottom one, I think, is the one that we have with all the stuff in it. Yep. Um, and that's the one that we're showing off on the screen. So you can see on the back end here, this is what we're looking at. And then I don't know, maybe, yeah, that's, what, that, that's what comes up. 
Exactly. Yeah, so we have uh, the clients use us with multiple boards. So for example, the ABC7 Eyewitness example, they may have one where they write the description. This is our lower thirds board. So mm -hmm. whoever's producing on this, it's going to come across at the bottom on lower thirds. We may have a board for bump outs. So then this one's for the Halloween photos that everyone's sending in for bump outs, but it's still the same title is ABC7 Eyewitness. So the viewers know one call to action, how I can get my content on your TV station within seconds. Now, Oh, oh! I see. We're seeing that right there. Okay, is a different there version. So, one of the questions: the way we had ours laid out, and I'm assuming that we have it like this just because we're we're doing a 1080p feed or whatever. We had like eight different blocks on the screen, mm -hmm. but if we had, let's say, a big TV wall, yeah. could we fill the whole like thing or what? Absolutely. Yeah, you could have. Say this whole wall is your screen. Yeah. You could have posts across the entire wall. And we have lots of stations that do that. So, so exactly, it just kind of depends on what your monitor is or how you want to display it. And we can have as few as one post, or we can have 50 posts about one. We don't just give you the technology, we also give you our client success program. We want to be partners in helping our clients lead innovation. So part of that is the setup, and then we talk to you about your screens and we get it perfect for you. So anytime you go to air, the producer and talent do not have to worry that it's going to look bad. All they have to do is simple one, two, three. Create, produce, display, and it's going to fit all of your screens wherever they are for as many hashtags as you want to create and the stories you want to create. Very good. Okay, one last question for me. If something does happen to slip through, let's just say John P. <laughs> thinks something's kind of funny, and I'm like, yeah, maybe that wasn't quite so appropriate. Yep. Is it easy to go in and, and pull that pull out back. of the stream and, and back that out? Yeah, if you have a look here, then you can easily delete as soon oh. as it comes in. And speaking okay. of that, too, we want you to let us know if any of our product is not easy, quick, and safe, we have an amazing team. I, we can walk right mm -hmm. to them and say, we noticed that there were swear words that viewers were putting in hashtags, and they'd hide them at the end in the mm -hmm. hashtag. Yeah. So we started hearing that from three clients within two hours. So we went to our team, and they created a profanity filter that could detect swear words in hashtags. Mm -hmm. We immediately add, put that on all of our clients' accounts and bang, to done. protect them so yeah. that it's still human Humans have yeah. to be the last filter, yeah. but if we can help you as much as we can, our team is there to help. Nice and responsive. Well, we've been enjoying it. I know everybody else thinks <laughs> it's fun, and uh, thanks for hooking us up so we could use it at the show here. Absolutely. Uh, it's, <laughs> my, it's my sincere hope that you guys are making it so easy that the broadcasters and the other folks out there who have been a little bit slower to adopt, yeah. will find this to be a platform that they could easily integrate. It's safe, it's easy, it's just so do it, right? We've both worked in television. Mm -hmm. I was on our talent for 12 years, the morning show traffic, and it, was un it wasn't produced. I'd have to do a live hit 18 times a morning. You're busy. I had 10 minutes in between each broadcast. I had people talking in my ear, accidents coming in 30 seconds beforehand. Yeah. And when technology companies came and pitched to my news director, they had all these promises. You can do this and that. When it came time for me to implement and Can't learn it, it, it was yeah. three days of training, mm -hmm. and I, I just used the top of what they told us, yeah. and my news director would be like, why aren't you doing everything else? Uh, I have like 400 <laughs> things I'm yeah. supposed to be paying attention to, you know? So we have to be easy for talent and producers. Yeah. If, yeah. if they don't want to use it, there's no point spending money on that's technology, right? right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it that's something else that Brianna works really closely with each of our clients to increase their usage every month. And every client we have has increased the amount of social media they've used month to month to month. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we are going to have over a billion impressions of wow. social media posts on air through our TV clients within the year. Well, that's a great yeah. success story all by itself. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty <laughs> exciting. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for joining us. Of and course. you guys, thank you. thank you so much for continuing to watch our coverage here at the 2015 NAB Show. Uh, I'm John P. I'm Scott Ellis. And we got a lot more, so stick around. <laughs>